when I'm writing the lyrics that I'm writing and you know figuring out the topics for the songs, I'm just writing about my own experience. And for me, that just happens to be an Asian American experience. Okay. I'm Chow Main. Uh, I'm 23 years old. I'm a rapper and producer, originally from Salinas, California, but uh, grew up in San Jose, California. I am Chinese American and I released my debut EP called Mooncakes last year, October 2017 for the Mid-Autumn Festival. When I first started performing and when I first started pushing my music, I didn't figure out you know, how to kind of tailor to my audience. For example, a lot of early shows that I did where my crowds were not predominantly Asian and where they're predominantly you know, white, Hispanic, or black. When I did songs such as like Da Da Da, where I'm talking specifically about uh, a, a very distinctly like Asian American experience. I know that people in the crowd can really relate. So I've had a few you know shows where I figured out to start you know testing the water. Some crowds I know would like some more bars, some rapy rap stuff, some more hip hop. Some crowds, you know, the younger generation I can you know, throw together some more like ignorant turn up tracks. You know, being an Asian person in uh, the hip hop scene, especially in local scenes. Like, people don't know I'm a rapper until I go on stage. A lot of times people mistake me for, you know, a sound guy or, um, you know, some, some extra photographer or something that's around. So, you know, going out there and um, kind of overcoming that. I feel like there, there are a lot of great, amazing Asian American rappers out there right now. And I feel like a lot are kind of scared to talk a lot about their Asian background because they're afraid of becoming too gimmicky and too, you know, boxed in. And I, I totally understand that, you know, perspective and I, definitely you know relate to it but at the same time I don't see my music as something that's like you know only for Asian Americans I, I see it as kind of just hip-hop where I'm talking about my life and my life just happens to be rooted in Asian American culture well, I would say that in any form of entertainment in any kind of creative work it's really important to continue to push out content and continue to create because not only will that you know make you better at your craft and make you um, consistently improve on each piece of work you make but it'll also give something for people to consume you know whether it be making YouTube videos making songs making short films just consistently having content out will give some give people something to come back and look at or something to check out when they eventually find you May 19th in San Francisco uh, at bottom of the hill I'm doing a show with a lot of uh, a few other very talented Asian American hip-hop artists um, so we have Ruby Ibarra Lex the lexicon artist and uh, Rudy Kalma in addition to that, I am releasing a project in May, maybe early June, I think in May, called Rush Hour with uh, my collective member Jordan Garrett. We're, we're switching the tone a little bit from our, both our previous work. So Mooncakes was a lot more dealing with the Asian American experience, um, and Jordan's past effort was really like emotional, kind of like Kid Cudi uh, slow vibes. But this one, we're, we're just kind of having fun with it. We're, we're in our bags, we're just rapping. And then, yeah, we'll see. I'm trying to drop a, a potentially another, another big project this fall. My favorite vegetable is eggplant, Chinese eggplant. I really like to cook it with, uh, I really like to cook eggplant with um, garlic, uh, chili peppers, and oyster sauce. And then, um, I really like sauce. Actually, I would say sauce is my favorite food, because um, whatever food has sauce, I, I love it, you know. Um, I can just go on and on about different sauces. You know, my favorite sauce is sweet, sweet chili sauce, Thai sweet chili. I also like, uh, I like barbecue and honey mustard a lot. Those are pretty good. I don't have to keep going on this. Ciao, man. Well, uh, a few things. So, my real name, my birth name is Charles. Um, and my grandma, with her heavy, you know, Chinese accent, um, every time she calls my name, she says it like, Ciao. You know, so uh, I just, I kind of go by Ciao. And on a second note, you know, a lot of my music early on, it deals with uh, the Asian American experience. And I feel like chow mein, you know, the dish, the pan fried noodles is a distinctly, you know, Chinese American dish. Um, you know, not necessarily something you might find in China. So I feel like it kind of reflects the kind of music that I've been making up until this point, which is uh, more distinctly, you know, Asian American.